We've come to Kotao. We, it was such an insane uh, night last night that I've lost my voice and uh, we were barely able to open our eyes in the morning. But we took a ferry uh, to Kotao, which is a sister island to Koh Samui and Koh Phangan. This is one of the best islands, not just in Southeast Asia, but uh, you know, globally to do your uh, PADI certification. There's so many scuba schools here and we are getting ourselves an advanced certification and I just can't wait to get that certification and do these five dives that we have planned over the next two days. We are at Scuba Birds and uh, we're just getting ourselves enrolled for the advanced open water certification, filling some forms. I'm so excited and thrilled. We've just enrolled and now we'll be heading, uh, doing some briefing and then heading to the ocean to do our speciality dives. We are sizing our equipments now so that we wear the perfect sizes of our fins and masks. So for now we begin with you. Yeah. We'll be doing two dives today, navigation and peak performance points. So navigation dive is basically to uh, learn how to use a compass and navigate through the ocean. Quickly finishing our lunch come breakfast so that we can go for the dive which will take us about 5 hours, 2 dives put together. to see some nocturnal creatures through this. It's almost 8.30 in the night and we are back from our dives. We went in the morning and uh, we just come back. It was a super long day but a super cool one. We did uh, three dives, uh, out of which one was a compulsory dive and two of them were like selective fun dives, adventure dives. And we did a night dive for the first time. So it was a really, really amazing experience. And uh, now we've come back to our hotel and ordered for some food. I'm, I'm just so happy right now because uh, we did a night dive and uh, we saw some uh, nocturnal creatures and it was uh, like a treat to the eyes to watch them in their natural habitat in night. It was, it was really really amazing and uh, tomorrow we do another two dives. Today during our dives and in the boat we didn't record much because um, we were super tired and exhausted from last night's hustle bustle and a lot of traveling that we did over the last three days. Um, but I mean, it was an experience that I cannot even put in words. Um, and uh, the, the schedule was super hectic and tight in any case for us to record and uh, you know, even manage the dives. But I'll tell you one thing that if you are very comfortable with water and you like to see. Um, marine life or something which is very uh, unique you must you must uh, do an open water diving course or at least do scuba diving once in your life a call for a uh, green thai curry with steamed rice and mango milkshake let's see how it is If you guys ever happen to do scuba diving, night diving, zaru experience in our life, it's a very magical experience. We just finished our dinner and now we are out to see some juice joints or um, desert places in Kotao. 
uh, it's almost 9:30 things shut pretty soon here it's an island but uh, we just thought we'll go around and see a few um, places to chill because it's too early to sleep So there are a few food carts here um, where people are grabbing the local crepes and um, they smell really amazing. Let's see how they are. We'll try the Nutella one. Very good morning from Kota. It's our second day of diving today and um, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. We are all set to go on the boat for a deep dive and a wreck dive today. It sounds really exciting and I'm so looking forward to it. The streets here in Kota are so beautiful and you would be surprised to know that this small island in Thailand has one of the highest numbers of dive schools at a particular place. So every nook and corner and on every street you will find like tens of diving schools from various like from Paddy, SDI, SSI and that's amazing because this island is so small but there's so much of a diving culture that is here and uh, it's one of the best places to do uh, advanced open water diving because A, it is relatively uh, cheaper than the other locations and B, it has wreck dives so not many, all the dive sites or dive schools take you for a wreck depending on the possibility so this one has a wreck close to the shore or the bay and that is why we preferred this island to do our advanced uh, open water certification. Good morning. Hi, morning. So, all set? All set. Yay! So, how's your confidence after the night dive yesterday? Like, how do you feel? Confidence has definitely built up after the night dive because night dive was completely dark. It was scary and I feel more confident in going in morning now. So all set. So everyone's getting their equipment ready and Praji is setting hers right here. Putting in our weights. So this is a weight belt which you need underwater to uh, maintain your buoyancy and uh, help you stay low underwater. The thing is we always with a wreck, the first thing. So every boat will have similar parts. So the front part of the boat is called a stern. The back side of the boat is called bow. Okay? Stern. S T E R N. And the back side is called the bow. The right hand, this side is the port side. And this side is, is the starboard.
Good afternoon, toddlers. We are finally back from our amazing, amazing wreck and deep dive. We had so much fun doing it. We went to a wreck site site called HTMS Sakatut and uh, you've already seen the video of it. It was so beautiful and uh, so thrilling. It was an absolute fun dive to do. We just finished the whole course and uh, certified advanced water scuba divers. Hi, Fai Kunal. And uh, yeah, to celebrate, we're eating some authentic Thai food and we've come to a uh, joint called Ma now uh, to eat some mango sticky rice. And I'm just so satisfied and happy right now at the moment. I'm loving it. I'm loving my beach hair also. It's been very good. How do you like it? It's nice. It's sweet, but tasty. Uh, we'll head to Bangkok again to catch up with our cousins. So, yes. And our trip to Kota is coming to an end. We are boarding a ferry to Bangkok. We'll be going to Chompon, and from Chompon, we are going to Bangkok back. And it was an amazing, amazing trip. And I absolutely love the whole diving experience. Uh, this will be memorable because we became advanced scuba divers at this place. So, Kota is going to be definitely very close to the heart and taking back really, really fond memories of this place. The ferry dropped us to uh, the Champon ferry terminal from Kothau and now we'll be taking a bus to Bangkok. Uh, we unfortunately cannot fly for the next 24 hours because we have done multiple dives, more than two dives. And as a thumb rule of diving, you cannot fly within 24 hours of diving or having multiple dives. So we are taking a bus today to Bangkok. Champon to uh, Bangkok is about seven hours uh, drive so we'll reach Bangkok midnight so there's this coffee bar here right at the Champon ferry terminal and we have called for an iced mocha thank you our bus has arrived so we must go now Because you keep us to be,